Stop wasting time. Yes, you. Stop wasting time. Look, are you a corporate professional who's just on this hamster wheel and you can't seem to get off? Like you just feel burnt out and tired and you have no time in your day to take action on the things that are actually going to move your life forward? Well, in this video, I'm going to share three powerful tips to help you get more time back in your day so you can take action on the things that are going to help you to create the life that you love. You ready? Let's go. You're listening to The Grind and Gratitude Show. I am Danny Stone, and I've dedicated my entire life to helping people win. Win in their careers, win in their businesses, and win in their lives. This podcast is going to help you get on your grind and hustle to create the life that you love and walk in gratitude along the journey. Each episode, I'll teach you tools and tactics and bring you conversations with experts that will help you turn your passion into a thriving online business. Life isn't about wishing for something greater. It's about making it happen. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it. You know, whether you're trying to grow your career or grow your business or whether you have some big goals and big dreams, one of the things that you might be running into and encountering is that you just don't have enough time in your day. I meet so many people that say, hey, Coach Stone, I wish I had more time in my day to take action on the things that I know that I need to that are going to help me to get out of this dead end job, that are going to help me to grow my business, that are going to help me to take control of my health and wellness. I meet people like that all the time. And so when we look at how we spend our day and we look at how highly successful people spend their day, how come they are so much more productive than we are? Well, it's because we've never learned how to maximize and use the time that we have. But before we get into the three powerful tips that are going to help you to really take control of your day, take control of your life and start creating the life that you love, we first have to be clear about how you actually get more time back in your day. See, there's only three ways three physical ways to get more time back in your day. But before we kind of get into all of that, what do you think the three ways are? In the comments, you let me know. What are the three ways that you think that you can physically get more time back in your day? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. I'll check it out. Now, the only three ways that you can physically get more time back in your day are wake up earlier, go to bed later or figure out how to maximize the time that you're using throughout the day. Those are the only three physical ways to get actual physical time back in your day. And so for some people, I mean, they say, hey, I'm not a morning person. There's no way I can wake up earlier. I need more time in my day, but I just can't wake up early. Okay. Some people are like, I'm not a night person. I can't work until hours of the night. I can't work on my goals and dreams because I'm tired at that time. So there's no way that I can do that. Okay. And other people are like, I do wake up at a decent time, but my all of the time in my day is just accounted for. I'm just so busy. There's nothing else that I can do to try to steal time back so I can actually take action on the things that are going to move my life forward. Okay. I'm saying okay to all of these because what you have to understand is how important is it to you to get time back in your in your day so that you can start creating the life that you want. If it's not important to you, then you're not going to figure out ways and find ways to do it. So it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what you know that you have to do. If you're not going to do it, you're never going to get more time back in your day. You're never going to be able to start that side hustle. You're never going to be able to write that book. You're never going to be able to take control of your health. You're never going to be able to grow your career. You're never going to be able to grow your business. You're never going to be able to strengthen your relationship. You're just never going to be able to do the things that you really want to do to create the life that you love. So I just wanted to say that up front. There's only three physical ways to get more time back in your day. Now, Even if you do wake up earlier or you stay up later, you still have to know what to do with your time so that you can be more productive and get more done in the time that you have. 
And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to teach you how to maximize the time that you have every single day so that you can steal back some of those hours or some of those minutes and start taking action on the things that are going to get you out of that corporate job that you're stuck in, that are going to move your life forward. So tip number one, how you get more time back in your day is prioritizing the things that matter. So for instance, when you wake up in the morning, what are you doing with that first 30 minutes? How are you spending your time throughout the course of the day? Are you constantly in work mode, work, 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 work? Or are you taking some time for yourself to throughout the course of the day to take action on the things that you need to take action on? So you have to kind of do an audit of how you spend your day. And then once you understand how you spend your day, you need to prioritize the things that really matter to you, to you personally. So what does that look like? If you are trying to start a business, are you taking 30 to 60 minutes every single day to work on your business, to research, to go out there and find out what customers want, to look at your products and services and try to figure out how to market those? Are you doing those things every day if your goal is to start your own business? If you're searching for more meaning and purpose in your life, are you taking time to self-reflect, to write down the things that you really love to do, to start to think about what you're passionate about and is that your true purpose, to step outside of your comfort zone and to try different things. So you have to look at how you spend your time and then you have to prioritize the hours that you have every single day and make sure that you're taking at least 30 to 60 minutes to work on a big goal or a big dream that you have. And for me, the best way that I sort of take action on my goals and my dreams and the one of the best things that I get my coaching clients to do is to take action as soon as they possibly can. So when you wake up in the morning, what are you doing with that first 30 to 60 minutes? And the reason why for me, the, the mornings are so powerful is because when I wake up in the morning and I do my morning ritual and meditation and all of the things I need to do to take care of myself and then get into taking action on my business, that first 30 to 60 minutes is uninterrupted time. And for a lot of us, our day gets away from us. If you're in your corporate job or you're in your business or you're doing something else in your life, you know that as you get up and get out of bed, as soon as you kind of start your day, you're almost on other people's terms. Most of us hit snooze 10 times because we don't want to go to that job that we hate or we are struggling in our business. So we hit snooze because we don't want to make wake up and do the hard things in our business. But what if you took that first 30 to 60 minutes and you prioritized yourself and what you need to do on those big goals and those dreams? How different could your life look if you woke up every single day in that first 30 to 60 minutes, you took care of yourself, your health and your wellness, and you meditated, you exercised, and then maybe you jumped into taking action on one of your biggest goals right then. See, I've learned that when you prioritize the things in your life that really matter and you dedicate time to those things, you put them in your calendar. You say, I need to do this one thing towards this big goal every single day because it's a priority. Now, all of a sudden, that 30 to 60 minutes that you're putting in on that goal or that dream every day, it adds up. And in 30 days, 60 days or 90 days, you'll be shocked, shocked at the progress that you made. But it's all about consistency and it's all about prioritization. So the first thing you have to do is make a list of everything that you need to do every single night before you go to bed. You make that priority list and you say, these are the one or two things that I need to do for myself, for my goals, for my dreams, for my purpose, for my passion, for my family tomorrow in order to move my life forward. And then you do those one or two things every single day and you move the needle. And that is one of the biggest ways that you get more time back into your day to do the things that you need to do.
Does that make sense to you? Let me know in the comments, say yes or no, if that tip doesn't make sense. Prioritize what matters. Tip number two. Now, I know that you know this because for me, I used to have this thing, and I probably still do have this thing called shiny thing syndrome. See, sometimes I'll be focused on a goal or a dream, and then I look up or I scroll through social media and I see that someone has something else going on and I follow them or I try to do what they try to do. And all of a sudden I get distracted from my goals and my dreams. So we have to learn how to eliminate distractions. That's tip number two. If you want to get more time back in your day to do the things that matter so you can create the life that you love, you've got to avoid distractions. And distractions can be social media. Distractions can be you know, calls and hanging out with your friends all the time, so much so that it takes away from you taking action on your goals and dreams. I'm not saying that you can't have fun. I'm not saying that you can't do things and you can't connect with your loved ones. But if you know that you're easily distracted, if you know that you're not as focused as you should be on your goals and your dreams and the things that are going to move your life forward, then you have to avoid and eliminate distractions. So when you're working on your goals and your dreams, maybe it's silencing your phone and not taking any calls during that time. Maybe it's not watching TV while you're trying to multitask on a goal or a dream. Maybe it's not listening to music because you can't listen to music and concentrate at the same time. You have to learn to eliminate distractions so that you can maximize the time that you have every single day to take action on the things that are going to get you out of that dead end job, that are going to grow your business, that are going to get you back in control of your health and your wellness. So learn to eliminate distractions. Now, one of the things that I do when I'm working on things is I use this method called the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro method is basically this method where you take 25 or 30 minutes or 60 minutes of time and you set a timer and you remove all distractions and you work hard on that goal or that dream for that amount of time. And then when the timer goes off, you take a small break, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then you come back to it again as soon as you can. So the thing about the Pomodoro method, which is really great, is that use whatever time you can. So maybe you can only work uninterrupted for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And you do that three or four times throughout the course of the day. And you do that every single day. Eventually, maybe you say, you know what? I can do 20 minutes now. I can do 30 minutes. I can do 60 minutes. And what you'll notice with that uninterrupted time, because you've removed distractions, is that you've gotten so much done. In fact, that's one of the ways that I was able to write my book, You Have the Keys Now Drive, in only 12 weeks while I was working in my corporate job, while I was going to school, taking courses, while I had my own business, and while I was um, doing a lot of community work. I wrote the book in 12 weeks. Why? Because I had uninterrupted time. I wrote it on the subway going to and from work on the train. I came home and I had allotted you know, 30 minute increments of time where I would just work on writing uninterrupted. And that's how I was able to write my book in 12 weeks. So what is possible for you if you learn how to eliminate distractions, right? That's not even saying that you have to wake up earlier. That's not even saying that you have to stay up later. If you get up at the same time that you get up now and you go to bed at the same time, it's about looking at of eliminating those distractions and doing some focused work for 30 or 60 minutes every single day, and that will move the needle significantly on the big goal or the big dream that you have. Look, if you're loving this, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm really enjoying this topic because I know what it's like to be in a corporate job, being stuck, be on this hamster wheel, putting in all of these hours, begging for time off, and just wanting more out of life. I remember looking out the window saying, is this it? Is this my life? I'm going to be working here for 30 years, burnt out, tired, never taking vacation. 
And so I said to myself, something has to change. And I had to find out ways to get more time back in my day while I was working in my corporate job and while I was trying to grow my side hustle and turn that into a business. So these are things that I've done. Like these are real tips, real practical tips that I've used and that I've helped my coaching clients to use. So I want you to know that this isn't just some fluff stuff, right? This is real tips that I've been using. Now, the third most powerful tip to help you get more time back in your day, and maybe you know this and maybe you don't, is habit stacking. So what is habit stacking? Habit stacking is really taking a habit that you have and and as soon as you complete that one habit, you layer on another habit or you do multiple habits at the same time. So for example, when I wake up in the morning, I have a morning ritual. And when I wake up, I pray and then I stack habits because as soon, right after I pray, I journal. And then right after I journal, I say my affirmations. And then right after I do my affirmations, I might have a meditation. And right after the meditation, I work out. And so I do some other things as well. So that is called habit stacking. When you take one habit and it's triggered, it triggers another one and another one, another one. And all of a sudden you do four or five things in a row every single day on autopilot. You don't even have to think about it because it's a habit. So that's one form of habit stacking. Another form of habit stacking is when you do multiple habits at the same time. So for instance, while I'm working out or while I'm doing my daily walks, I'm listening to a podcast or something positive in my ears, or maybe even listening to uh, an ebook or I'm listening to an audio book. So that is a perfect example of habit stacking where I'm exercising and listening to something positive and powerful at the same time. So when you think about habits, your habits, first of all, you have to ask yourself, are the habits that I have serving me or not serving me? So when you look at your life and you look at the things that you do on autopilot without even having to think about it, are those habits serving you in a way that's going to help you to create the life that you love or are they taken away from that? See, that's a starting place when it comes to your habits. You have to look at the things that you do on autopilot. So maybe you do wake up every day and maybe you pray or maybe you have affirmations or maybe you exercise. That's awesome. Or maybe as soon as you wake up, you start taking action on your business or maybe you're trying to grow your career. So when you wake up in the morning, you are doing some professional development or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you hit snooze and you, you know, jump out of bed at the very last minute and then you're just rushing, 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 trying to catch up to the day. Or maybe you stay up so late that you never really have a great sleep. And so you wake up tired. And so you don't even have the energy to take action on the things that you need to do to move your life forward. Or maybe you, you eat um, really badly. Maybe you eat a lot of junk food and it makes you sluggish and tired and it's causing you some physical and mental problems with your, with your health. So you have to understand and think about the habits that you have, the things that you do on autopilot. Are they helping you to take your life to another level or are they actually detracting from that and pulling you back and pulling you away from creating the life that you love. So once you get those very positive, powerful habits, now you can start to stack those habits and you miraculously get more time back in your day. You increase your productivity. You get more done with the same amount of time than you ever have before. That is the power of stacking habits. So you have to ask yourself, the things that I do on autopilot Are they really moving me forward or are they setting me back? And it's a tough question to ask. I had to ask myself those tough questions when I was stuck in my corporate job, uh, you know, trying to rationalize why I was there just to pay the bills when I could actually go out and find a job that I liked more, that gave me more freedom, that I didn't have to work as hard or start my own business, which is the route that I took. So you have to think about that for yourself. So those are three powerful 
ways to get more time back in your day, to increase your productivity, and to, to take back some time so you can start putting that time towards creating the life that you love. I am Coach Stone. I help people break through limiting beliefs, get clear about what it is that they want, and develop their own personal roadmap so they can create the life that they love. Thanks so much for being my co-host on this episode of the Grind and Gratitude Show. I really appreciate you. I hope that you learned something and you're motivated to take action and get on your grind. Didn't that go by fast? If you want more, head over to grindandgratitude.com for show notes and more information about this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please go to iTunes and subscribe and leave a rating so more people will tune in. And let me say this, there's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it.